trust where you turn. So find your way through the U.S. election with BBC News. Join us for the second presidential debate between President Donald Trump and Joe Biden, live from Nashville, Tennessee. Thursday night from 1.30 on the BBC News Channel. Or catch up on BBC iPlayer. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Louise Minchin and Dan Walker. Our headlines for you today, a deadline to break the deadlock. Leaders in Greater Manchester are given until midday to agree a deal which will take the region into the highest level of COVID restrictions. If we're not able to reach agreement, then with deep regret, I'll have to advise the Prime Minister that we're not able to reach an agreement at this time. Yes, after discussions that have lasted the best part of two weeks, discussions have broken down. There is a proper stalemate here, and Greater Manchester now faces the prospect of having restrictions imposed by the government. Prince William shows support for businesses forced to close in Liverpool with a surprise video call to cafe and bar owners. Good morning. Could it be lights out for some visitor attractions if October half term doesn't deliver? Collectively, they provide more than 3 million UK jobs, but revenue is set to half. More problems for Wasps ahead of the Premiership Rugby final. They may be forced to pull out of the Twickenham showpiece after more players test positive for coronavirus. We're finding out what it takes to keep an 800-year-old building in good repair, especially during the pandemic. We'll take you on a very special tour of Salisbury Cathedral. Good morning. It's a mild start and a mild day ahead. We've got bands of rain moving north and east. Behind them, some sunshine and some heavy showers in the west. I'll have all the details in 10 minutes. Morning, it's a Tuesday the 20th of October. Our main story, local leaders in Greater Manchester have been given a deadline of midday today to agree a deal on moving into the highest level of coronavirus restrictions. After 10 days of talks between uh, the region's leaders and the government in Westminster, the community secretary, Robert Jenrick, says urgent action is now needed. The Greater Manchester Mayor, Andy Burnham, who's going to be here at 7.30 this morning, has said repeatedly that the region won't back a move to Tier 3 without increased financial support. 